so much death. Quick, what could possibly Get warrant this back massacre. Back. We'll watch your back. You can count on us. Set scales. See if she's still breathing. The Dragon Guard comes to our aid, and the threads intertwine once more. Izuni has one song left in her, though she may be too weak to sing it. Will you hear it? Then you must listen. Once a cub was born under the eclipsed moons, destined not to lead as main, but to join the pride of Alkosh, we trained him as a holy warrior, a hidden protector. But that was not enough for Rakajin. Yes, but greed poisoned his heart. He wanted to rule over elsewhere, not protect it. Then the demon from the east returned, it promised the power of a new moon, and Rakajin listened. No time, no time. Alkosh, grant me a moment more. The mask, you must find the mask before Rakajin does. Seek the path, let our founder be your guide. Her statue will... Will... Step away, Dragon Guard. She has passed on. The Clan Mother spoke of the statue. We should examine it. Of course. The statue wears a mask, doesn't it? What did the inscription tell you? Jadari? As in the Horn of Jadari? It seems Nephilar has some explaining to do. This Jadari must be part of the pride of Alkosh. Perhaps even its founder. Why else would they so prominently display her statue? The Clan Mother requested we find the mask before Rakajin does, so I can only assume it's a relic of great power, something we wouldn't want in the cult's hands. We need to find this divine mask before the Order of the New Moon beats us to it. And let's see what our resident Red Beast thinks of all this. Hopefully Nathalar is still nearby. Let's ask him about Jadari and the divine mask her statue wears. Perhaps this time he'll be more forthcoming. Mother? 
We were too late. She's dead. How could Rakashi do this? Izumi was a mother to him. To both of us. Fate will catch up with Rakujin eventually. We'll avenge... Vengeance means little to the dead, Dragon God. I have come. Hmm. For all the good it accomplished. The Mask of Alkash. Ah. Lord Vulan is a fool. His pathetic priest will never be worthy of such a relic. Not like Jadari. They chase that which they can never hope to control. Jadari. I called her Toshrakat, the founder of Pride Home and the first of Alkash's pride. Hmm. She once wore the mask, yes. And I suspect her corpse guards it still, but none of this matters. <sighs> then learn the truth for yourself. If you seek the mask, speak with the clan mother of Kanarthi. It was her temple that cared for Jadari's remains. Seek the mask if you wish. I will deal with Lot Fulan. Mm, another trip to Mother's Temple? Oh, oh no, I am not dealing with another one of your bouts of depression. Ilya will go. I will? I mean, of course I will. It's settled. You two will head to Kanarthi's temple and search for the mask. Kaska, Zaji, you're with me. You befriended the Red Beast. A dragon. It helped Jadari defeat the demon from the east. The clan mother would often tell us the story. Two beasts clashing. And brave Jadari, who befriended one to defeat the other. Just legends. Jadari wore a divine mask, filled with the power of Alkash. But during her greatest battle, it failed her. She died and joined the Dragon King of Cats beyond even the sands behind the stars. Only the clan mothers know. Please, this one must make sure the bodies here are cared for. We can speak of the legends another time. Back to mother, eh? <laughs> Better you than me. If I never step foot inside that temple again, it'll be too soon. Take care of the little one, Walker. Clan Mother Tadali may still be upset with Zaji, but she came across as very wise. I'm sure she'll help us if we explain the situation.